Hello, this is Pam from Down Under Recumbent Trike Ventures. A couple of weeks ago, Rick, James and I decided to explore some of the other areas around Petrie and we decided we would explore the lakes around Mango Hill. There's two out there, there's Lake Halpine and Lake Capestone and we were also going to ride into Lake Eden. In the end it was very, very windy so we decided to do the other two lakes and then Rick gave us the idea of going to the place we're going to which is Black Duck Reserve. It's a very very nice place and I decided I would dedicate this video solely to the Black Duck Reserve and I'll make a video on the other two lakes in the not too distant future. Hope you enjoy. This is the entry to Black Duck Reserve. As you can see there's no signs so it'd be easy to miss. Now going to a place called Black Duck Reserve. Duck Reserve is located on Dole's Rocks Road in Marumba Downs. It's on the left hand side going down to Dole's Rocks. It's one of those little known locations, little haven in suburbia. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's nice, isn't it? Mm. I might just take a photo. Nice, isn't it? I don't know these places exist. A couple of recumbent riders whom we met at Sandgate gave us a very good idea when exploring new uh, areas, bike paths, is go to Google Earth and have a look at some of the photos of the area. And it's a very useful tip. On the little man icon it will take you down to the street level. The streets are highlighted in blue that you can see and if you click on one of those you'll be able to see around the street, sometimes the pathways. It's worth coming down here. Definitely. Our friend Rick had only been here once before and he'd only explored up to a certain point so some of this track was new to him as well. Coming up I managed to negotiate a little zigzag turn not always easy when you've got a trailer attached, but I made it. I made it! <coughs> this next area here nearly blew me away because on one side there's like a wetland lake area and on the other side it's sort of like it looks almost like a wilderness area of something that I imagine that you would see in the Northern Territory. It's so hard to believe that this exists in our local suburbs and that it's surrounded by suburbia. I envy the people who live in this area, it's very very nice. It's so hard to believe when you're sitting here looking at this beautiful view that there's a main road less than 500 metres away. It is so nice that these places still exist for us to come down and enjoy. Okay, we're exploring again. Rick hasn't been further than this. Good when you ride with other people because they go places that you don't go. I'm going to go out and have that little look out. Oh, you would not know this existed, James. I wonder if I 
at those birds through there. Can you see the shags up there, Jane? There's about four on the branches. There's a big one. Yeah. And then there's three others. It's funny because when I took this photo, I didn't notice the turtle in the bottom of the branch. This is really, really nice. See above there's uh, housing there, so we are in suburbia. This path is now taking us around the back of the lake and it will go across to the other side of the road where the pathway will continue down beside the lake. Well, that was really nice. Keep going here? Yeah. Where's Jane? Come here. <laughs> can you hear him? I can hear him. No, <laughs> yeah, go across the other side and go straight down. Down there? Yeah. Wait, there's a, oh, there's a car coming, I'll wait. Does it only come down to here, does it? Yeah, I thought, I thought this might have gone around the whole edge. No, it doesn't. We'll probably go across country. What was that? Turtle, turtle or something. Turtle or big fish or something. I think it was a hippo. Hippo. <laughs> Don't see many of them these days, James. No, because the crocodiles had them on. See, here's another one of those ramps. And the further up there, they've got like drag nets. Cold piranhas as well. Piranhas. Piranhas? <laughs> you never know the wildlife you might see. James reckons that you've got to be careful of the hippos. You never know what's lurking in the bushes there. That's right. Could be a yeti as well. What do you reckon? We'll try across here. Cross country? I've got no idea where I'm going, but I can lead you all up the garden path. Here's something different. <laughs> Oh, there's a pathway over there. I've got a stick foot in my mud guy. I can't can reach, no. Go forward a bit. Yep. Oh, God. That's where we went across the road. I'll wait for you up the top here. Where away are you? I had to do a major okay. repair to Rick's bike. Pull a stick out of it? Yeah. I heard that. Most people couldn't do it. But... You made it sound like it was a major operation. Oh, well, I managed. Oh, you're a legend. I know. I heard you say I was your hero on Facebook. That's right. That was a nice thing to say. That's right. And of course, he's my hero too. James has a medical condition. He has COPD. Just walking around would get him out of breath, but he's able to enjoy recumbent cycling with the addition of electric assist. This allows him to get exercise, but without being getting out of breath. It's opened up a whole new world and we really love it. For those of you who consider that riding with an electric motor is not a form of exercise, it's also about uh, reducing muscle wastage. So James is still uh, using his, his muscles and legs and we ride considerably further possibly than what some people do without an electric motor. So we still consider it a form of exercise, plus we enjoy it. These paperbacks are nice, aren't they? Yeah, they are beautiful. Oh, I like the knots on the, the vines going around up some of the trees. Mm. Parasite vines. Yeah. Look at all the birds, too. There's a water hen on the path up here. 
Okay, he's running really fast. <laughs> Look, he really doesn't want to fly. He ran all that way over there. They're funny, aren't they? Snake flies are much the same. You see them take off along the road, then they finally think, oh, I could fly. Come down here, you wouldn't think that lake, little lake was there. No, well that was a big surprise, that. And a nice one. And a very nice one. Well, we're nearly back at the start now. If you've enjoyed watching this video, you might like to give us a like. And if you would like to continue watching my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.